Today we are with Heather Adams, partner and the head of the residential property team here at Myerson, along with Jen Hartley, an associate in the property litigation department. We're going to have a chat about the process of buying the freehold to your leasehold house, as this is something we get asked about a lot and we assist clients with regularly. So Jen, starting with you, what rights do you have to buy the freehold if you own a leasehold house? So the Leasehold Reform Act 1967 gives leasehold tenants of houses the right to buy the freehold of their property. The right to buy the freehold without the landlord's agreement is called enfranchisement and some landlords will sell the freehold without you needing to make a formal claim. Okay, great. Right. And is there any criteria for the statutory route? There is. Um, the house must be a building which is reasonably considered to be a house. It must be divided vertically from any adjoining house. But it doesn't matter if the flat has um, the house has been built uh, divided into flats, as long as you have that lease of the whole house. Um, the lease must be a long lease with originally a term of more than 21 years or with a r- right to renew. And you must be the leaseholder of the house at the time you apply for enfranchisement. And you must have held that lease for the past two years. And what does a homeowner need to do? So the first step is to serve a notice on the landlord. And this acts as a contract between the parties and it follows the conditions set out in the regulations. There is a premium payable and that's based upon, uh, upon the formula set out in the, in the legislation. Once a notice has been served, the landlord can respond, but they don't have to. If they do not respond, all it means is that they are prevented from negotiating or cha- over the valuation or challenging the validity of that notice. If the matter proceeds to court, then there could also be cost consequences. If the landlord serves a notice, it should set out whether the landlord admits or rejects the claim. OK, great. And um, does the homeowner need to pay anything at this point? So the landlord could ask for a deposit and that is three times the yearly rent of the property. Uh, what happens once the notice has been served? So once the landlord admits your claim, then the procedure is governed by the regulations and this is when we would typically pass the matter over to Heather's team. OK, great. So Heather, what happens next? So once we've received the details from Jen's team, we then make contact with the freeholder or their solicitor to ask them to provide a draft transfer for us to review. We then receive the transfer, review the contents to see if the freeholder is seeking to add in any new restrictions or other content, which is not currently in the lease for the house. It's common for the transfer to include a repeat of any restrictive covenants or obligations contained within the current lease. Okay, and what if the homeowner has a mortgage? Do you need to obtain the lender's approval? So we don't need to obtain consent from any existing mortgage lender who has a charge secured over the leasehold title for your house. The leasehold title for your house remains in place after you complete the purchase of the freehold, and so the lender's security isn't affected at all by you purchasing the freehold, provided there's no intention to merge the titles into one, which we'd always recommend against doing. And when you come to sell a house on in the future, you'd then usually sell on both the existing leasehold title and the new freehold titles that have been registered to you. OK, and what happens next, though? So when the transfer has been signed by the house owner and the freeholder, we can then look to agree a completion date with the landlord's solicitor. Once the completion date's agreed, we ask the house owner to make the payment for the agreed price for the freehold to us, and we arrange to pay this to the freeholder solicitors along with any other agreed costs on the completion date. On completion, we date the transfer of the freehold title. And once the completion has taken place, we apply to register the transfer, which will result in a new title number being allocated to the freehold for your house and it being removed from the freeholder's remaining title. We hope our short video has helped you understand the process of how to buy the freehold title for your leasehold house. And if you need any help with doing this, For yourself, then please don't hesitate to contact us on 0161 941 4000.